Let's do question four together. I see that I have x in both exponents, so I'm going to apply a log to both sides. And when I see that I have a base of e, that usually tells me I want to apply the natural logarithm to make this a little bit easier. Just a reminder that this is a natural logarithm. It is an ln. All right, now we have our powers that need to be written as factors. I hope you've been memorizing those properties because then you remember that the natural log of e equals one. We want our terms with x on the same side of the equal sign. Now we have x as a common factor and we can finish up. These answers never look very nice, but that's what you just have to get used to. Here's our exact answer for this equation. Why don't you try question five on your own? Why don't we use log base seven and apply that to both sides? You should have your brackets around your uh, factors and you should remember using our property that log base seven of seven equals one. So on the left, x was common, and we divided both sides by that factor, 4 log base 7 of 3 plus 1. So here's another question for you, question 6. We see x is only in one, one power, so that means we can change it to exponential form. But first, we need to isolate the power. Why don't you solve this one? So the first thing we did was multiply both sides by five to isolate that power base E. We changed it to log form. The bases are the same. So this was log base E of 10. And the answer to a log is always our exponent. Remember that log base E is our natural logarithm. And that's how you should write it. We added one to both sides. And this cannot be simplified because even though we don't write brackets, we know we have to evaluate the natural log of 10 and then add one. And finally, we divided both sides by three. This is the exact answer.